Your Excellency, Jane Kelleth Louise, Ms. Sigrid Nalma, invited guests, members of the media, good morning. And thank you for being here at the NTN studios. Of course, we're here to celebrate the Nobel Laureate Festival, as we do annually. And this year, we have so many different events that we have for you. And we hope, of course, you at home will come and attend. So we are going to be letting you know what's going to be happening this year and also to celebrate our theme. And the best person who can do that for you, of course, is the chair of the Nobel Laureate Festival, Her Excellency Dame Pellet Louisi. Thank you, Delia, and um, welcome. Although this is not my, my space and my home, welcome to the NTN studios. Uh, yes, it's this time of year again, Nobel Laureate Festival, January 13th to 26th, 27th, and continuing. We've been doing this for the past 26 years. In fact, this is the 26th edition of the honoring of our, of our laureates. Um, by now, most people in St. Lucia would know why we have this festival, but because I know that we have extended our reach a little um, to bring in persons um, who would not normally have been listening to, to these kinds of productions. I just want to give a, a, a reason why it is this time of year. The 23rd of January is, in fact, the birthday of our two Nobel laureates. So, as I say every year, if anybody has any, you know, intentions of having their progeny as Nobel laureates, you arrange for them to be born on the 23rd <laughs> of January. We have a theme every year. The main theme is celebrating excellence because that is what the, the Nobel laureates are all about. But every year we have a sub-theme, and this year the sub-theme is 40 years on. So our, our general theme, celebrating excellence 40 years on. And of course, um, uh, two reasons why we chose um, this particular theme. Of course, you know, we are going to be celebrating, or we should by now have started celebrating, the 40th anniversary of our independence. And... Um, there will be a, a program, obviously, later on. But this year, uh, the 40th year of our independence is also the 40th year uh, since, the, uh, since Sir Arthur received his Nobel Prize for, for economics. So that is why our theme, Celebrating Excellence, 40 years on. And we have, you know, wrapped this, this theme around the... the, the, the general theme of the independence activities, which, if I get it correctly, is all in, we are all in it, it's our journey, our future. So that while we are celebrating the, the laureates, uh, it's not just the two gentlemen, but all of us in the celebration of our independence as a nation, of our achievements over these past 40 years. Now, you know, unfortunately, most, um, both of our laureates have passed on, but there should not be, to my mind, any dimming or weakening of our pride in what our two accomplished sons have been able to achieve. So they may have gone to the great beyond, um, and if I should quote a little Hamlet, to, they have gone to the undiscovered born where, from which no traveler returns. Mm -hmm. But we are hoping that, you know, they may not be here in, in physically, but I hope and I know they are here in spirit. So, I would like to invite everybody to join in our, our celebrations. And just to reiterate that Nobel Laureate Festival is not just simply honoring or celebrating the achievements of the two gentlemen, our two accomplished sons. There is a second aspect to our celebration, and it is to give us an opportunity every year to celebrate excellence in our own achievements, to nurture 
the potential to unlock the potential that is within all of us. And you don't have to be an economist like Sir Arthur or a, a, a man of letters as Sir Derek. You could be any, anything at all, any profession. What we're looking at is excellence. And you will notice that from the programs that we're going to put on during the course of the, of the um, festival. Two weeks and, and beyond. So let us all come in. We will be having you know, programs um, over the next two weeks to tell you what's coming, what's going, what's happening. And just keep an, uh, an air open, an eye open, and come in and let us celebrate ourselves, really. We're celebrating Sir Arthur William Lewis, Sir William Arthur Lewis, Sir Derek Alton Walker, but we are also celebrating St. Lucia, St. Lucians. Thank you very much. And now it's time for the part where we encourage you all to ensure that you come to the events, not just in Castries, but all throughout St. Lucia. So I'd like to invite Kieran St. Rose to tell us about the first event. As Lilia said to you, my name is Kieran St. Rose and I am the coordinator of the church service and the breakfast. I'm here to invite every one of you to attend the church, servi church service and, and also the breakfast. The church service will be is scheduled to be held at the Abbey of the Immaculate Conception Mount of Prayers, Kubari. <laughs> it's a long, long name, but we can say at, at Mount of Prayer, Kubari. The church service is scheduled for the 13th of January, which is Sunday coming at 7.45. And as I said, everybody in here is invited to attend the church service. It gives you an opportunity to meet us, to interact with us. Soon after the church service, we are having a breakfast at the same venue. The cost of the breakfast is only 35 EC dollars. So everybody should make an effort to attend. And those who have never heard our one and only songster, from the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College sing the Nobel Laureate song. It is a wonderful opportunity to <laughs> it is a wonderful opportunity to hear the song. She has a fantastic voice and I hear her every year and I still get carried away. So please make an effort to attend. It's at Kubari seven 745 and the cost of the breakfast is $35. At the little breakfast, it would give you an opportunity to mix with the team, find out from them a little about the Nobel Laureate. Don't just hear it on the road, but find, let us talk to you to tell you whatever we know about the laureates. So again, I'm making a plea Everybody should try to attend the church service followed by the breakfast. Anyway, thank you and see you there. Well, Karen said it all there. The only thing that she missed was, of course, we know how wonderfully the nuns cook. They can cook. So... <laughs> You can always, after the service, and please don't cheat and not come to the service, but enjoy, you know, the breakfast with us as well. And uh, we will, I'm sure, entice you to come out and uh, visit some of the events. Now, I have a few events that I'd like to share with you and a couple of questions. And perhaps you could honestly try to answer them in your minds. 
Many people don't realize that Sir Arthur Lewis became Britain's first black professor. Did you know that? Yeah. Oh, that, well, you, and you're in the committee. <laughs> he did this at the University of Manchester in England. But have you ever thought how he managed to achieve everything that he did in those days? Because after all, it was 1948. Can you imagine how hard it must have been for him to forge his way? So, he was actually there when he completed most of his important works. And in 1979, of course, he received the Nobel Prize for Economics. Through a series of videos and accounts by professionals, by professors and students of the University of Manchester, I have coll collaborated with them to put a really wonderful piece online that shows all the works, or most of the works that he accomplished at the university. There are videos that discuss the effect and students talking about what they've learned via some of the principles that Sir Arthur Lewis taught and actually explored. So we would invite everyone to go to the page. If you don't remember it right now, just go to manchester.ac.uk or just type in Manchester University Sir Arthur and it will come up. There is a, a link and we'll put that up on the screen for you as well and on our Facebook page. So you can actually go there, spend a few moments listening, watching some videos, reading some of his works. Uh, you will be able to have access to that more or less straight away, although we have it down here as Monday the 14th. I've checked and it's there already. All right, also there was a building there named after him where the lectures take place. And there's an annual lecture every year. Now, on Friday, the 18th of January, St. Lucia's High Commissioner to the UK, His Excellency Guy Mayers, will actually visit that building, the Arthur Lewis Building, uh, which was opened in 2015. His Excellency will also attend a, launch, uh, a luncheon sorry, with Professor Brian Heafy, who is Head of Social Sciences, Professor Chris Wallace, who is Head of Economics, and Professor Angela Wilson, the School of Social Scientists um, International Lead. The Commissioner will also meet St. Lucians who are studying at the University and also he will visit the community where he was very active not just for St. Lucians in Manchester but the Caribbean people in Manchester. So we'll be taking pictures uh, and uh, as a member of the Special Events Committee for St. Lucians in the UK, we have organized this. So if you are in the UK watching this, because of course the power of online media, um, you are going to be seeing pictures and some of the visit that's, that's there. Also, I'd like to know what is your perception of St. Lucia's Nobel Laureate Festival? What do you really think it's all about? There are many things out there. People say, well, it's not for me. It's for a certain person. Well, no, it's not. It's for everyone. So we're going to be asking questions like that. And also, how much do you know about our Nobel laureates and how their works have influenced the world? We take a lot of these things for granted. So the Nobel Laureate Festival Committee would like to thank Choice TV for sponsoring a program which will highlight those questions. It's going to be a very quick program, so you don't have to sit and, you know, and watch for hours. Five minutes, we'll answer a, ask you a question, and we'll get someone there who can answer that. And at the end of the day, we hope that it will make you understand why we need to continue celebrating our Nobel Laureates. And that takes place from Monday the 21st of January to Friday, every day, five minutes before the news. No excuse, you're waiting for the news. So just turn it on, turn the volume up a little louder, and then listen and understand. We're going to ans ask the questions that we think you need to know the answers to, but we are still open and receptive. If there is a question that you would like us to answer, to please send it to us so we can answer that question. It is so important that we understand why it is so important. The last event I want to tell you about is about uh, Barbara Ingham and Paul Mosley's biography about Sir Arthur Lewis. In the biography, of course, he will talk about the man himself and his trials, tribulations, and the things that he experienced and conquered. And what they also do is they consider his friendships, his rivalries, and the society as it was 
in England at the time. I will be talking to Professor mostly about the authors, how they decided how they were going to write the book, what are the features about the author they felt that people should know, and also how the book was, was received by everyone. It has had a lot of international acclaim, and yet so many people, and I think in St. Lucia, don't even know that it's there. So we are going to be doing a live radio station in London, um, in the city of London, uh, very close to the mayor's office, where we're going to be talking about that. That happens later on in the year, in fact, one, one day before independence. So you'll have enough notice um, about that, and it will be available on the podcast. So all the information here that I've given you and everything else that everyone else is going to tell you, uh, it'll be on the screen, and we'll also give you the reasons or the ways that you can get in touch with people at the end of the show. So thank you, and uh, I'm going to ask Christelle if she would like to come. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, Your Excellency. Good morning, everyone. I'm here representing St. Mary's College. My name is Christelle Lee. Every year, for the last 11 years, I think, well, at this level, we've been doing um, celebrations, a show for um, Nobel Laureate Festival called the Literary Night. Of course, the school has been celebrating at different levels for much longer than that, because guess what? The secondary school that the Nobel Laureates went to is none other than St. Mary's College. So, of course, we always strive, like, like our theme says, to celebrate excellence and engender it in our students. So this is a time to expose and show the world what St. Mary's College brings. So this year, we are looking at love, love as an answer. Because we're in a society that we're seeing a lot of fighting, a lot of anger, so many things, so many ills. And we're thinking and we're exploring with the students and they are showing us that love can answer a lot of questions. And you know, there are different types of love. The Greeks spoke about, you know, love in different forms and so on. And all of these things are what will be coming to stage in dance and song and poem, spoken word. So this is a night that everyone needs to come out to. Everyone needs to come and see. That when people sometimes think of love as only the relationship, the boyfriend and girlfriend, but there's, there's love of nation, there's love of society, there's love of brotherly love of, of just your fellow man, just a person that's on, in, on the road that we all need to take advantage of, understand, and, and um, engender in ourselves. So St. Mary's College, the 25th of January, Friday at the National Cultural Center, 7.30, be there or you'll miss it. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. My name is Popetio James, and I'm here this morning with Ms. Rubina Joseph. She is another member of our committee, and I would like to share with you um, some of the activities that we will be having as part of our Nobel Laureate Festival in Denry. We represent the Denry Development Foundation. Um, we start our activity this year um, with a night of literary performances. We have, um, we will be having drumming, we will be having the spoken word. We would also be having three plays, three short plays, um, directed by Mr. Hayden Ford. We want to thank him so much for that. And um, on the same night, we would be having our, 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 our lecture. So you would well imagine it will be a packed night where we have performances and everything else, and then we have a lecture. We are so very honored to have Mr. Oban Dolo to do our lecture for us this year. And um, we are hoping, in fact, we know that um, we would have a very good time with him. He's somebody who I think can interact very well with audiences and so on. And um, he has confirmed that he would be there. 
Um, this night, it climaxes with our annual cocktail, our annual Nobel laureate's cocktail. We can't miss that because people look forward to that. We have a lovely cocktail after all the activities, the lecture, the performances, and um, stay around and talk about the evening and everything else. Another feature um, of our celebration in Denry is um, the involvement of our schools in the area. Um, we will be having short presentations on the lives and work of our laureates, and this would be made at three schools in Denry. At the school assemblies, huh, we would not be um, interrupting the schedule. We would go to the assemblies and make those presentations. Last year, a similar activity took place, and this was well received by both students and members of staff. So this year, we are go doing it again with a little more a question and answer session after the presentations, and we will be giving them some tokens. We have been able to secure some small tokens featuring our laureates. You know, there are some locally made wooden, a key, could be key rings, whatever it is. And we would be sharing that with our students. And this particular activity would be managed by the Denry Youth and Sports Council. Um, let me ask Miss Joseph to do the vote of words of thanks. Thank you. <laughs> um, the Denry Development Foundation would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who has made the <coughs> event possible for us, especially in the past with um, Her Excellency Jim Paulette Luizzi and those who continue to do so till present. We thank you so very much for your continued assistance and you have so fervently you know, assisted us in keeping the, the, the event alive. So we would like to invite everyone to our conversations, that's the name of our event, our conversations on January 26, 2019 at 7 p.m. And it will be held at the Chateau Heritage, that's along the highway in Denry, right opposite the police station. You cannot miss it. So once again, let me take this opportunity to invite everyone, especially Denry community members, come out and let us support and celebrate our Nobel laureates. Thank you. Your Excellency, I don't need any introduction, I notice. So here I am, Margot Thomas of the National Archives Authority, and we have been with this committee from the beginning. And once again, the National Archives Authority is honored to be part of the Nobel Laureate Festival. This year marks the 40th anniversary of St. Lucia's independence and is also the 40th anniversary of the awarding of the Nobel Prize for Economics to our own Sir William Arthur Lewis. What better way to pay homage to our country and our laureates than by hosting an exhibition, just think about it, to showcase the growth of our island coupled with the achievements of our laureates. Our exhibition is entitled, St. Lucia's Independence 40 Years On, and will run from Wednesday, 23rd January, to 31st March at the National Archives VG. We look forward to your attendance at our exhibition, which will be launched on Wednesday, the 23rd of January at the National Archives. I would like to invite you to be there. It is the birth date of our laureates, and we shall be celebrating. With, just think of what you need to celebrate. <laughs> the exhibition will highlight the turbulent years prior to the granting of independence. Were you there? I was there. Some of you were. Many weren't. We'll look at the independence celebrations and the important developments during each of the four decades until now. 
We must bear in mind that it was in the decade of the 1990s that Sir Derek Alton Walcott was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature. Let us continue to celebrate our laureates who epitomize excellence, lest we forget. Let me remind you that the legacy of these gentlemen will continue to live on. Vive Saint Lucie, viva Santa Lucia. See you there. Hello, good morning. Good morning. So, let me introduce myself. My name is Bookie Kane, and I have an art gallery called Me Curator, which is located at Massard Grosillet. So, I would like to say thank you, first of all, to the committee for letting me take part in this event and being part of this amazing celebration of Sir Arthur Lewis and also Sir Derek Walcott. Um, I will be hosting an art exhibition. So, as you can see here, we have examples of some artwork which have been done by some students. So my focus is to host an art exhibition on the 17th of this month at the gallery, and it will feature artwork done by young students between the age of 16 and 20. It's in collaboration with the Nobel Laureate Committee and also the TUVET unit. So my call is for young artists to come and submit an artwork based on the poetry of Sir Derek Walcott. In this instance, the art work which should be based on a poem called St. Lucia II, which is all about celebrating what it is to be Lucian, what it means to you, how you are from St. Lucia, of St. Lucia, and it's within you. I'd also like to encourage everyone, everyone in fact, to come to the art launch night, which takes place on the 17th of this month, and that will be at the art gallery, Me Curator Art Gallery, from 7 p.m. And the launch night will feature works by the young artists who are, again, uh, from St. Lucia, representing the works by Sir Derek Walcott and also work done by um, other artists within St. Lucia, young and also old. So it's just a case of saying thank you for your time and we look forward to seeing you guys there on the 17th. Good morning, everyone, Your Excellency. For 2019, the Cultural Development Foundation through the Ministry of Tourism, Information and Broadcasting, in collaboration with the Nobel Laureate Festival Committee, is pleased to yet again be hosting the Sir Derek Walcott Memorial Lecture. This year, the lecture is going to be held on the 22nd of January, and we will be embracing a new venue, which um, should be um, very interesting in itself. The lecture will be held at the conference room of the Financial Administrative Building, which ironically is right next to us. <laughs> um, this event is absolutely free, and we are inviting the general public to participate. Every year, it is um, really a, a thought-provoking lecture that takes place. Um, from my introduction to the foundation, I've always been engrossed and enthralled by what is, is put on by the foundation. And it is sad, but also it, it drives you to want to get people to be a part of the experience and understand what the committee and the festival is about and what work these two incredible gentlemen have brought to St. Lucia and how they have really placed this little dot on the map internationally. This year, the lecture will be delivered by Professor Gregson Davis. Professor Davis is an Andrew William Mellon Distinguished Research Professor in the Humanities at Duke University. Antigua and Bon Professor Davis was established, has established sorry, several journal articles on the poetry of Sir Derek Walcott and has edited, edited a volume of his essays devoted to his work. His professional career in higher education in the USA embraces appointments at Stanford University spanning over two decades. I was not born yet. <laughs> Cornell University for five years and Duke University over two decades with a two-year intervening stint at New York University. His research and teaching has been divided between two classical studies and also comparative literature. 
This lecture promises to be enticing and again, a very thought-provoking one. The theme for this year's lecture is Birds in the Pictorial Landscapes of Derek Walcott's Poetry and Drama. Again, I am inviting everyone and the entire St. Lucian populace, although I don't think we can take everyone, but as many as we possibly can to be a part of this event. Again, is it, it is absolutely free and it will be held on Tuesday, the 22nd of January at the Financial Center. Thank you. What time? At 7.30. Thank you so much for <laughs> running that one by me. At 7.30. Thank you. Your Excellency, good morning everyone. I am here representing Ministry of Education, Innovation, Gender Relations, and Sustainable Development. And um, <coughs> if you've been following the festival, you know that the ministry um, has had quite a number of activities on the um, festival calendar because we understand the importance of nurturing excellence, nurturing the next generation to us, the, um, as our chair said, to make sure that we have future Nobel laureates in the making. So if you look at our calendar, you'll realize the first week we have quite a number of activities under the Ministry of Education. From the 14th to the 19th, um, it's basically the school's um, contribution to the festival. On Monday the 14th, we have the school's music festival and uh, what we do every year is, especially in the first term, the music department, we conduct festivals in all the districts across the island. And out of that, we select the best um, of the various aspects of music. So we have singers, we have uh, um, choirs, we have um, instruments, a little bit of everything. And uh, on Monday, we invite you, it's 10 o'clock at the National Cultural Center, to come out and see the best of the next generation of musicians. On Tuesday the 15th, we have the National Awards of Excellence. And at that time, Ministry of Education, we take a moment to celebrate and to recognize persons, students, as well as um, employees who have, uh, in some way, been excellent in the recently concluded academic year. On uh, the 17th and the 18th, we have uh, a new component this year. It's part of what we call our cultural explorations um, series. What has happened is, well, you know, we usually have our work at schools festival. And um, out of that, we try as much as possible in, to follow the philosophy and um, the interests of uh, the Walcott family. And uh, between, well, both brothers, our, of course, our Nobel laureate winner, as well as his brother, they have really been part of all the areas in the arts. And they have also, through their work, made sure that persons have an understanding of the culture of St. Lucia. So in, in following those footsteps, we, we are trying through this series to ensure that students and the general public get an opportunity to experience not only our culture, but culture of uh, um, various countries. So on the 17th and the 18th, we will have um, a team coming from Trinidad and Tobago, and they will be conducting workshops alongside with um, cultural practitioners in St. Lucia. This is going to be for secondary schools. And then on the 19th, we have uh, a young St. Lucian, Chatoya Jabaptis. She has her own dance um, company called uh, the, 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 the Sh I hope I'm saying it correctly, The Sure Experience. And uh, on the 19th at the Grosley Secondary School, she has brought together a group of choreographers from the US, from Barbados, and of course from St. Lucia. And they will be exploring and looking at similarities, techniques, and cultural um, connections in terms of dance. So we're inviting you to come out for that. This is for the general public as well. It will cost you only $65. It starts at 9 and ends at 4 p.m. Now, in terms of our Work at Schools Festival, one of our major elements we try to have every year 
some sort of performance. And this year we are collaborating with Youth and Arts and uh, they will be repeating their performance of Masquerade Mat Master, which was written by one of our committee members, Ms. Junior Frederick. And uh, we actually have three performances on that day. One at 10 a.m. for primary schools, one at 1 p.m. for secondary schools, and one at 7.30 p.m. for the general public. So that way, hopefully, the students, as well as the general public, will have an opportunity to see the um, performance. So we invite you through our performances, of course, as much as it is for schools, it's also educational. So please feel free to come and join and to experience with us. Where, where is that? Cultural Center. What time? Which one, sorry? Um, 7.30. Yes, at the Cultural Center. So the performances of Masquerade Master, all at the Cultural Center. Good morning, Your Excellency, Ms. Nama, invited guests, media, Nobel Laureate Committee. My name is Jermaine Joseph. I'm representing the St. Lucia National Trust. Um, and we are very excited to be part of the Nobel Laureate Festival. Thank you so much to the Nobel Laureate Committee for inviting us. Um, we will be, Walker House will be participating in this event in that we'll be having an open house um, from the 21st to the 25th of January. And during this open house, we'll be inviting students, please come out and take part in an audiovisual exhibition. Um, there, there will be some of Walcott's, Sir Derek Walcott's sketches in, in on original sketches on exhibition there. So between the 25th and the, the 21st and the 25th, between 9 and 4 p.m., please come down. Uh, you can book by calling 452-3639 and just, just book f for an hour or two. Um, what usually takes place is that the students come through and we give them a tour of the Walcott family tree. Um, there's some of Derek's, uh, Sir Derek's watercolors on display. So we really try to sort of engage the students at, at their level, so primary school to secondary school. So they can actually see, you know, firsthand what Sir Derek's uh, watercolor techniques are about, what he wrote about, and we engage them. And some of them come up with, you know, idea. They they realize that Sir Derek was a, a normal person like themselves. He went to school at the Methodist school. So, you know, Walcott House sort of puts all of this into context, and we really encourage um, everyone to come down and visit. Thank you. Good morning, everyone, Your Excellency. My name is Andrea Jabatis. I'm rep representing 758 Books. And this year, we are hosting the Children's 2019 Exhibition. And that will be at our new location in the Gable Woods Mall in the courtyard, so please join us there. We will be featuring works, new works by Lovely Sheridan, Jacinta Lee Anios, Patricia Turnbull, and Dawn French, also Jude, Jude, Judelia. And that will be from January 20th to the 31st, as I said, at the Gable Woods Mall. And it will be at 9 a.m. in the morning. That is the time that the store will be opening. And it will be interactive. The children will have an opportunity to be read to by some of the authors and also to participate in painting, drawing, etc. So we're looking forward to seeing you guys there. Thank you very much for the Laureate Committee for inviting us, and we appreciate it. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Raymond Joseph. I'm a retired educator. Um, the event which I am coordinating is the launch of the At The Well Leadership Academy in the US in the summer. Um, this initiative seeks to establish a connection between young St. Lucians and Princeton University 
through participation in the At The Well Leadership Academy, which is held every summer at Princeton University, where Sir Arthur, one of our two Nobel laureates, and whose 40th anniversary of the receipt of the Nobel laureate we are celebrating this year, worked for 20 years. He worked there from, 1980, from, 1980, from 1963 to 1983. <clears> Through <throat> so this connection, we are hoping that young men and women will be ins inspired to strive for excellence and global leadership, which were the hallmarks of Sir Arthur's illustrious career. The seminar will be facilitated by two persons from the At The Well Conferences Incorporated, Mistress Jacqueline Glass Campbell, who is the founder and executive director, and also uh, Mr. Toby Sanders, who participates in the summer program. The components of the At The Well um, conference would include things like leadership development, academic preparation, curriculum features such as leadership um, pro projects, interaction, learning to, to uh, <clears throat> discuss in small groups, etc. Um, the At The Well launch targets, not the general public this time, but targets students from grades 11 and 12. And we are particularly focusing on the student councils, which are the leadership arms in the secondary schools, and also the National Youth Conference, the National Youth Council. Um, if there are any parents in, um, in the general public who probably might be interested in seeing what their sons and daughters may be invited to participate in, we invite them also to participate in this activity. The activity will take place at the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College, Montfortuné, at 10, at 10 a.m., on January, Thursday, January the 24th, 2019. I want to thank, this is my first time on the Nobel Laureate Committee, and I want to thank Her Excellency for allowing me to have this activity. Thank you very much. Thank you. Your Excellency, especially invited guests, members of the media, good morning. My name is Natalie Julie Fanis, and I am here representing the South of Lewis Community College. And as usual, we are very proud to be part of this continuing remembrance and celebration of our two Nobel laureates. Um, we have young people in our care, and we think it is so very important for us to engender excellence in them, and who better to use um, uh, than Sir Arthur Lewis and Derek Walcott. So this year, as usual, we will be hosting three major activities um, that we consider on the national calendar, as well as our student council is organizing activities um, within the, the school between um, the 21st and all the way to independence. They have a calendar that they will be hosting. Our first major activity, however, is on Wednesday the 23rd, and that is an academic discourse where our faculty and members of the community will be engaged um, in discussion um, of a, on a topic relevant to the society. Both Sir Arthur and Sir Derek were very instrumental advocates of, of change in the society, and um, they did get into some social issues that have affected us and lend their voice to it. Um, both locally within the Caribbean and internationally. And therefore, we will encourage our faculty to explore the topic, the role of academics as a social force in the society. What role do they play? How can they be instrumental in change in the society? So that discourse will be taking place on Wednesday the 23rd of January at 12.30 p.m. on the campus. Um, it's open to, of, of course, our college community, but we do invite other members to come and be part of it. On that same day, Wednesday the 23rd, we will be very busy. Our students, they will be in action, and they will be putting on a dramatic presentation or production um, at the National Cultural Center at 7.30 p.m., and that one is entitled um, Echernum. I got that right? Echernum. Um, and they are exploring a social issue that is affecting them. Um, 
they are looking at the issue of suicide in the society, especially among young men. So this young man, <laughs> after he commits suicide, is in purgatory. And there he is forced to explore all of the issues that led him to that place. Uh, and in speaking to the students, they are saying there's a lot of depression and suicide in our society. And they don't just look at it as a dark issue, but facing what it, the, the issues that are confronting them and hopefully to help young people face that. So, um, you know, we are hungry for theater in St. Lucia. So I'm hoping that the general public will come out to see that production. This is the second year that the students are writing directing, producing their own dramatic presentation. So please come out and support the students of the Sir Arthur Lewis Drama Club on Wednesday the 23rd, 7 p.m. There's a small cost of $20 just to offset costuming um, and the set design, etc. So we look forward to seeing our students in action. Last year, our production was very well received and had to be repeated. So we hope the same will happen after your attendance at the first one. On Thursday, the 23rd um, of January, we will be hosting the Sir Arthur Lewis Memorial Lecture, as we do every year. And um, we heard Delia speak of Dr. Paul Mosley, who recently authored a biography of Sir Arthur. So he is looking at Sir Arthur not just as an economist, but also as a social activist. So we have that theme running through. And the title of his lecture is Arthur Lewis as Thinker, Social Activist. Um, Dr. Paul Mosley is a professor of economics at Sheffield University, and the lecture will be taking place at the Finance, at Finance Administrative Center at 7.30 p.m. on Thursday, the 23rd of January, and that is also open to the general public, and it is free. Pardon? Thursday the 24th, my apologies. 24th. Wednesday the 23rd, Thursday the 24th. Um, for, th for that particular week, our final activity for that week will be the wreath laying ceremony. And this is where we, members of the community, members of the Lewis and the Walcott families come together to lay wreaths on the, at the gravesite of both Sir Arthur and Sir Derek. As you know, Sir Derek is now buried um, on the grounds of the Inesculin Monument, which is just off um, to the side of, of where Sir Arthur is, has been laid to rest. So we gather together to remember them. We normally have the students put on dramatic pre presentations representing the works of, of the two laureates, and um, we lay wreaths at their grave sites to close off the week that we used to celebrate. But so Thursday, sorry, Friday, the 25th of January, will be the wreath laying ceremony at the grave site of Sir Arthur Lewis at 10 a.m. in the morning. 10 a.m. Um, so we are again pleased to be able to, to partner with the rest of the committee in order to put on those activities and we look forward to the general public participating in all of these activities. Thank you very much. Well, that's uh, all. Just one other thing uh, before Leslie comes on. Um, we also have Paint the Village, Paint Our History, which is going to be with Jonathan Gladding, and that takes place in Labry. It's the second time, I believe, that we're doing it because it was so well received. So you don't need to be an artist. You just need to have the interest in trying to paint, paint, you know, what's in front of you. So that's taking place... Uh, with Jonathan, and this year it will focus on Labrie's historical and uh, industrial heritage. That is taking place um, on Saturday the 26th and Sunday the 27th of January, and it's between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Okay, Leslie? Good morning, Your Excellency, Dame Paulette Louise, Ms. Sigrid Nama, and all specially invited guests here this morning. My name is Leslie Crane Mitchell, and I represent the UWI Open Campus St. Lucia. 
Four years ago, the Open Campus decided that as its contribution to the Nobel Laureate Festival, that it would set up uh, and establish a literary workshop in the name of another St. Lucian icon. And her name is Dr. Patricia Ismond. As I said, she's a daughter of the soil, and for many decades, she worked with the University of the West Indies as professor of literature. So many persons have um, passed through her hands and have been taught by her over many years. Uh, she is well known for doing some seminal work on Sir Derek Walcott, which can be found in the library at the University of the West Indies. So, as our contribution, what we have done for the last um, few years is to partner with the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College, as well as with the Viewfort um, Secondary Comprehensive, the post-secondary the, um, post unit, where um, the students take the Cape Literatures in, um, Literatures in English, it's called these days, and we host a whole day session for them, which starts at 9 o'clock and ends at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. This workshop is actually um, a joint effort of the University of the West Indies Open Campus and Dr. Ismond's sister, Miss um, Hester Ismond, who has been very, very supportive of her sister's work and of the work of the University of the West Indies. Um, not only does she um, essentially fund the workshop on a yearly basis, but also um, a scholarship has been set up by um, Miss Hester Ismond in her sister's name, which allows a St. Lucian student, you have to be St. Lucian, and doing, um, studying the area of literature at the University of the West Indies to receive a scholarship on a regular <laughs> basis. So um, we are very, very grateful to Miss Ismond. So this workshop uh, is for students, but in addition to that, there's also usually a half-day session that is held for the tutors of, of the two schools uh, in order to prepare for the workshop and also for them to receive um, some extra uh, <coughs> training and to and enter into some further discussion with the facilitator to, um, so that they can enhance their teaching of their students. The facilitator of the workshop is also a uh, daughter of the soil. She is Dr. Antonia MacDonald. She was um, well known for being a literature tutor at the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College for many years. She has, however, for a while now moved on and she is a professor, professor in literature um, at St. George's University in Grenada, as well as Dean of the College of Arts at that university. She comes with a wealth of knowledge and, and lots of experience having worked um, with CXC herself. So uh, in many ways, uh, we, are, we have to thank Your Excellency for being patient and for extending the festival all the way down to the month of March <laughs> so, so that we could be included. Usually we are on time, but because we had to fit in with Dr. McDonald's schedule, unfortunately um, we, we had to do it in March. So the workshop will be held on Thursday, the 14th of March. It is really being held specifically for those students. So usually when you combine both schools, number approximately 100 students. And usually they find it very worthwhile um, in assisting them with their examination preparation. So thank you very much for your patience. Thank you, Leslie. I'd like to invite Her Excellency Dame Paulette Louise to the podium to accept a very special thing, something that we all like to receive. <laughs> and would you like to come and introduce yourself and what the check is for? Thank you. Okay, pleasant. Good morning to everyone. Chairperson of the Nobel Laureate Committee, Her Excellency Dame Paulette Louise. Um, special guests and members of the media. My name is Leola and I am the marketing officer for First Citizens Investment Services. And just as in the past years, First Citizens Investment Services is proud to once again support the activities of the Nobel Laureate Festival. We recognize the excellent contributions of our two Nobel Laureates, 
to this island and to the rest of the world. We also recognize the importance of celebrating Sir Arthur Lewis and Sir Derek Walcott and continuing the legacy for generations to come so as to educate and to inspire others to achieve greatness. First Citizens remains committed in its support of the people, arts, and culture in St. Lucia. Our support, as before, will go directly to the Walcott Schools Festival, and we look forward to an epic production of A Masquerade Master. We are indeed pleased to know that a workshop for students will also form part of the Walcott Schools Festival and hope that this will foster talent and creativity among the participants. I would like to extend best wishes to the production team, including Michelle Thiebels, Junior Frederick, the Youth in Arts Theatre Company, and to the facilitator of the workshop, Mrs. June Frederick. First Citizens Investment Services congratulates the Nobel Laureate Committee for its commitment to making these events possible every year and anticipates an outstanding celebration of excellence 40 years on. Thank you. Yes, let me um, thank First Citizens Investment Services for, for once again um, sponsoring our Walcott Schools Theatre Festival. Um, First Citizens is always interested, as you would, in, in, in youth and in the arts and in culture. So every year, or the past three, four years, I think, they have been making that um, contribution. So it comes in, I mean, it's a very timely presentation. <laughs> comes in very handy. Oh, yes. All right. And so we thank you so very much. Thank you, everybody. Now, I think we have covered everyone. So I would like to thank NTN. Uh, Choice TV for sponsoring the shows that they're going to be producing, and the Star newspaper who are actually producing a supplement to celebrate our Nobel laureates. I'd also like to thank the committee members who take a lot of time. We don't just do this in the month of January of the year that we are presenting. We spend a very long time to put everything together. And of course, I'd like to thank our chair, Her Excellency Dame Paulette Louisi, for her continued support and strength when we have to get everything together. And before I thank you, members of the audience, and you at home, I would like to remind you that all the events, or most of the events, apart from three, are free. So don't hesitate to come and take part. I also want to let you know that we are guaranteeing you that if you attend uh, the breakfast with us on the 13th of January, apart from having that scrumptious breakfast, you will be able to meet members of the committee and you can talk about some of the events that you may want to attend. So don't forget the date, Sunday, January the 13th, 7.45 a.m. So we will go to, I'm not going to attempt to say the long, the long title, but of course we all know, uh, we, we all know that the, do you want to attempt to say the whole name for me? But we just call it the Kubari. <laughs> The Mount of Prayer at Kuberi. So we, we hope that you will all come. But ultimately, I'd like to remind you that the Nobel Laureate Festival Committee, everything we do, we do it for you. So thank you so much for joining us today, and we look forward to welcoming you in the future. Thank you.